You're watching Minnesota Live. Our Olympic Bites series continues. Monday, we explored Latin cuisines. Yesterday, we tried a French pastry, and uh, one of us took home the del delicious sandwich and ate it for the next hour or so. Uh, today, we're having Jamaican food yeah, from yeah. Tommy Beavis. Yeah, he is a James Beard recognized chef, and during the <laughs> pandemic, and the riots that followed the murder of George Floyd. Tommy actually turned his restaurant, Pimento Jamaican Kitchen, into a food shelf. People in the Whittier neighborhood of Minneapolis gave food, they gave baby products and other essential items. Tommy's here on the patio uh, yes. with, with a competition of spice. <laughs> Man, Jeez. it's Olympics time, right? We love having I you guess. on the show. Yes. Always an honor to be here. How stuff? Tell people about your restaurant. Things are going amazingly well. We have three locations now down on Nicolette. We have one in downtown St. Paul and Wabasha, and then we're over on Bide Makaska. Yeah, how's right. that going? Oh, I walked by there the other amazing. day. Amazing. Yeah. We have live music out there on the lake, oh, salsa nice. dance on the lake. It's just a joy to be out there because the weather is perfect right now and we only have 15 more minutes of this. So everybody's know, out. Right? This weekend's going to be hype. Um, it's also Jamaican Independence Weekend. Oh, so cool. that means three parties, three locations, three days. You know, So we start the party from the east over in St. Paul. Then we're taking it here on Saturday night. So on Friday, St. Paul. Saturday, uh, Minneapolis. Sunday morning, brunch on Vide Makaska. Oh, oh fun. that sounds awesome. lovely. <laughs> All right, so you're bringing some heat today. Yes. So we've been we've been told about this, and, and it oh, starts God. with wings and lots of sauces. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. So what we're doing is we know that it's grilling season. We want to oh, get yeah. people hype and ready for the grilling season. So what we're suggesting is the regular rubs and flavors that you, one usually has on their grill, all we're saying is stick with that, but now let's turn it up a notch. And the way we're gonna do it is we have a series of sauces um, that one can use to, to turn up the flavor. One of the things that we also recommend is because people are, people are like, well, what type of pepper should I use and all that? Yeah. You can choose whatever flavors one wants. You can turn up the flavor um, with sweetness, so a bit of sugar or a bit of syrup, or you can add a bit of tang to it, so some lemons or whatever it is to create one's own sauce to go with their regular chicken wings. We have some boss lady chicken wings for you today, of course. Big up, big Thank up. You. Thank right? you. And so what you're gonna do is we have the sauces labeled from mildest all the way to extra hot. And God for oh God. Uh, I, starting I, here, this is the mild that, one. No. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so um, and so the winner gets a gold medal, man, because it's Olympic season, so, right? Tommy, let me ask you, is Jamaican food typically spicy? Oh, yeah. Usually, um, not just about the spice, about the flavor. Yeah, the flavor. So it's palette. about the complexity of it. So, for example, with our kilim, which you're going to enjoy, right, it's, it, it starts off with a bit of a salty and sweet, and then you're like, oh, wait, I feel some heat. Okay, cool. And then you come back with some, like, some soy sauce vibes, and all of a sudden you get smacked with the heat. You're like, oh, there it is, and then it just builds. And then at the end, though, at the end, it's not just heat. At the end, you just feel the garlic and the ginger dancing on your palate. So how long is it going to take for the heat to go from beginning stage to hits us to smacks us to garlic? Well, it depends on the Minnesotan. <laughs> <laughs> but so, what I can say is, though, um, we talk about climate change, there's palate change. Minnesotans can really handle the heat, and over yeah. the past 12 years, we've been watching Minnesotans turn up the flavors. So here you are, man. All right, All right. so are we supposed to so, actually eat a wing in each one of you these? You can grab just, a wing. You okay. can feel free to double them. I'm going to go You're right. I'm gonna go Start easy, with the mild. Easy. Yep. And don't worry, because we understand that the, 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 the spice might be spicy. We brought you some juice, some um, fruit punch, but then in case of an emergency, we, always go for the milk. I would say, is fruit way. punch the answer to spice? Milk is actually the, yeah, the, the okay, answer. Yeah, yes, fruit yes. punch is just because it tastes better. Right, and then okay. at Pimento, we have rum punch, so everybody comes out and they enjoy their jerk chicken and they hit it with some rum punch. So you see, that's a neutralizer is what we call it. It's an onion gastric, so it's a sweet flavor. It tones down the good. heat, so if somebody likes jerk chicken, but they're like, ah, oh, it's too spicy, they then mm -hmm. use the neutralizer neutralizer to tone it down. I'm going to be in trouble. If right. that's the mild, my mouth is <laughs> yeah, already I, I'm at number spicy. two and it's already a little warm. <laughs> and for the record, we don't even call it mild, we call it no heat. <laughs> so, All right. Nice. Number so lie. number three, which is like a creamy so, type. So the number three, so we have the so we have neutralizer, then we have a Minnesota nice, which is our mm. jerk, medium okay. jerk barbecue. Then we go up to our jerk ranch, which is our homage in Minnesota. So that's it's really a re re really creamy, really sweet, mm -hmm. re really savory, but then it's respectably enough with the heat. Right? Yeah, and I then, got it now. I can taste right, it. Right, right. It's not bad. Though. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's the point. 
It's about the flavor and not about, ah, I can't feel my face. This second one is smoky. Right. It's got a little smoke to that's it. That's right. And that's okay. our Minnesota Nights. That's our, okay. our medium. All right, I'm on this guy. You're on All right. four. So, I'm on three. So this is our one love sauce. So it's a bit more of a kick. And then you're going to go into the mango habanero sauce. All these sauces are available at Pimento at the lake. So we have seven different sauces at the lake. Um, and then we also have our sauces available for oh, there, Target. Oh, there comes the heat on that There one. we go. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So that's the one love. And then what you're going to do now is a mango habanero. Right? Um, and this also, one scares me a little bit. What I did was I brought two samples for you to see. So this is the traditional habanero that one would find in their grocery store. We can't really find the real deal scotch bonnet pepper in Minnesota. Oh my gosh, I've heard of these. Yes. This is the real deal. Oh you God. Okay? Chris, you look Chris. Fine. It's getting there. I'm He's fine. getting there. This man is ready to so earn that, his medal. I'm at the third to the last. This so. one did that to you? And yep, that's wrong. the jerk ranch. All right, and then now we're going to simmer down because the next one is our Kingston cake or jerk barbecue. So it's a bit hot. So right, so that's the thing. So we balance the sweet yeah. and the heat because it's not about just burning. It's about complaining complexity of flavor and this is the future of flavor so have fun with it when one is cooking at home they can even fire <coughs> roast their peppers because we have some cooking up right now right because what one wants is that uh, is that smokiness that charredness and when you fire roast it or grill your oh she's <coughs> <laughs> That's, That's really coughing I begins, actually, but not, I swear they're actually enjoying not, it. I'm, I'm just coughing, not because yeah. of the heat. That's not bad at all. Right, no, right, right. Well, what's great about him is I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like the heat, and granted, I'm using my fork to do it. The the level of spice is pretty consistent, mm -hmm. yeah. but the flavors are so different and makes the experience of each one so unique. Absolutely. All right, big Absolutely. dog time. Big yeah. dog time. The Kill Them With It. <clears throat> so Kill Them With It was created once in Minnesota where I was at a Wings oh. event and some dude walks up to me and was like, just so you know, we do real heat here. I'm like, oh, wait okay. for it. This I got some scotch butter. Yeah. Right. Some scotch butter. Sure soy That's, sauce. And also fire roasted peppers. So we take the peppers and we turn up the flavor by grilling them. You can do it. Do it, do yeah. it, do it's what? Yeah, exactly. And so now what you say is going to be a sweet, yeah. salty, and then the heat wait. is going to come in, that right at weight, and then it's going to get sweet and salty, and then another <laughs> heat is going to come in, and then he's going to start feeling at the top of his head, and then you get, it's that you type of one? good. Oh, my yeah. God. Did you try yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to try more? And then you, you get that, oh, that, I, that I would ginger add and garlic. Oh, I dip isn't quite a full weight. Oh, dip. come on. Please. Hey, no. what's the hottest thing? Because before we go, we got to eat that. All right. The hottest thing is the actual scotch bonnet pepper. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And Chris just went scotch bonnet, y'all. I will meddle oh! you, my friend. You this. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. That's what I was saying. <laughs> But don't worry, we also have a gift for you. We wouldn't leave you empty-handed here. You oh, go. Thank boy. you. Yeah. Tommy, thank you. This was fun. Have fun with the uh, Independence Day yes. celebrations yes. this all weekend. Yes, all weekend. Yeah. We'll put a link to the restaurant locations, learn more about the celebrations, Minneapolis, St. Paul, MinnesotaLive.com.